The News for Jack's I team is looking into the growing problem posed by large homeless camps all over our area. This follows the dramatic removal of a camp off Blanding Boulevard in Wells Road in Clay County yesterday. Landowners arrived and demolished what had been set up. The Clay County Sheriff says the camp had become a haven for drug abuse. News for Jack's I team investigator Scott Johnson has been looking into this issue, which is spreading all over the region. He's joining us live off Powers Avenue on the south side. Scott. Yeah, Tommy, you were talking Clay County. We're talking here on the south side. So in these woods here, it's been cleared by the landowner for the most part. Most of the homeless population had been living here in large numbers for a long time. But if you go inside, you can still see what was left behind. They only cleared it out because they plan on developing it. The camp is now vacant, but if you look closely, you can see some called it home with trees that still have random wires and hooks where people used to set up shelter. It's now been cleared, much like the huge homeless camp that was just cleared off Blanding Boulevard in Orange Park. Camps like these are popping up all over the area. Always and Don Gilman, who's CEO of Changing Homelessness, is not surprised. She says it's a national problem. The real limiting factor is affordable housing, meaning people are living in encampments because they can't find or can't afford um, housing that they can rent um, that is not in the woods or in a tent. Gilman points to a lack of affordable housing as the reason for these problems. In the Clay County case, I reached out to the sheriff's office, which tells me it's the responsibility of the landowner to keep homeless people off their property. I stopped by the listed address of the Blanding Boulevard property owner. It was inside a gated community in Fleming Island, so I couldn't access it. As far as the city of Jacksonville, this is what the mayor's office tells us. When notified by the public that they have observed a camp, the city of Jacksonville will reach out to both changing homelessness and Schulzbacher. Gilman tells me they go into these camps regularly. They try and make contact and help as many as they can. What you are seeing in Jacksonville, Florida is be, being repeated across every city in the country. So there are resources available, but they are limited. And she tells me they're going to do a home there. They typically do a homeless head count as best they can in the area. But this year they're not going in because of COVID safety concerns. So they won't really get an idea of how many are out there. But they do say that the camps, a lot of them are just growing in size and numbers of individuals inside one camp at a time. We're live on the south side. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station.